So, Speasters, have you wondered how The Flash could have been done differently in previous seasons? Would Jay Garrick's reveal been different? Who would have Zoom been? And many, many other things. Well, today, in this Flash video, we're going to be going over abandoned storylines and concepts from all of the seasons of The Flash. <laughs> How's it going, Speedsters? Welcome to a brand new Flash video. So as you know, at the minute, uh, the shows are on a break. It's a bit of a dry period, so I want to come up with some other videos. And this one really is a perfect video uh, because it is essentially what I said in the intro, uh, abandoned concepts and storylines. So there's this Reddit user by the name of Tales of the Trivial. And I, I remember reading an Arrow version of this the other day. And definitely let me know uh, by leaving a like on this video if you want me to go over those uh, abandoned storylines and concepts. Because it's really, really interesting. Now, um, I don't know if there's uh, any way to properly verify if these are real uh, rejected concepts and storylines. I've heard that some of them are definitely known to be real. Uh, so for the sake of this video, let's assume they are. Um, I think most of them are anyway. Uh, but they're just really interesting to think about how things could have gone completely differently. Some things not so massively different, but as you know, when writing a show, uh, especially sometimes in some seasons, they don't know what they're properly doing with the back half until the mid-season. It's seriously interesting to see what they would have done differently with Zoom, uh, Savitar, Barry Allen, uh, just all kinds of things. So definitely stick around in this video because as a Flash fan of the show, I think anyone would be interested in hearing what could have been different and maybe you would have liked that to happen maybe you wouldn't so let me know also in the comments down below if you like any of these ideas or if you know you're really happy they didn't do some of them because that's how i feel about a lot of them but other than that guys i'm gonna go ahead and read them out give you my opinion on them because that that's the point of this video i suppose uh but yeah go ahead and like this video if you do like this content i guess and let me know as well if you want to see the arrow season well not season seven version but one to seven version of what they could have done differently or planned to do, to do differently at one point and other than that subscribe to this channel if you're brand new so i'm going to try and go over this kind of quickly because otherwise this will be quite a long video the arrow one is pretty long so obviously there's a few more seasons than the flash uh but yeah let's try and get through this as fast as we can uh in terms of maybe i'll talk about the most interesting ones a bit longer but barry uses his forensic abilities to determine his enemies weaknesses and defeat them changed so the rest of the team could have a more active role in the missions uh this one I understand. I think maybe in season one, I can't remember properly, but I feel like they did do some examples of this. Uh, but you know, mainly it is like Caitlin or Cisco telling Barry over the mic or the comms or Har Eobard Thorne or Harrison Wells, Wellsabard, if you will, uh, telling him, Oh, if you do this or if you spin or if you run around him in anti clockwise, blah blah blah, or you know, you know what I mean, defeat the enemy or whatever. Uh, so you know, I get that. Some people say Barry gets dumbed down. Blah, 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 blah. But I, I get it. You know, it made Cisco and everyone else a lot more interesting. And I can't keep ranting on about each one. Otherwise, this video will be like 40 minutes. Um, Iris is a psychology student interning at CCPD as a junior criminal profiler. Changed to be closer to the comics. I agree with that one. Like, yeah, very happy with that one. Eddie is a douchebag hotshot who dislikes Barry. He transferred to Central City after accidentally killing his partner and covering up to protect his career. Changed as they thought making Barry rival and nice guy was more interesting uh, more interesting take i agree with that um that would have been an interesting storyline to be fair like finding out eddie killed someone and stuff like that but uh eddie being a nice guy and the way that ended with him sacrificing himself and you know there was moments where he did dislike barry anyway um I, I prefer the way it went and this is what i mean guys let me know fair enough like even comment as we're going along with this in the comment section uh along with me and give me your opinions and i know some of you guys like to do that give me your opinions on each one as we go along because yeah that'd be super interesting or maybe just give me your opinions on the ones you feel most interested in the next one is caitlin is older had a past relationship with harrison wells whoa and her not so dead boyfriend is carl nimbus the the mist interesting she was aged down to replace hartley in the core trio and her fiance was changed into ronnie raymond firestorm to be closer to the comics um yeah i i wouldn't have liked that I like the way they, they did it with Ronnie and stuff, but, you know, we've got a couple of other Ronnie things, I believe, coming up, if I remember correctly. Um, but, yeah, wouldn't have liked that so much. Hartley is a part of the team, um, has a friendly rivalry with Cisco, and is initially more concerned with salvaging his career uh, than protecting the scene. The scene? 
Uh, change to streamline the cast. Caitlin took over his role. Uh, to be honest, I was re I'm really happy with the way uh, the cast was in season one. You know, Caitlin, Harrison Wells, or Wells Bard, uh, Cisco, and Barry. I, 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 I didn't mind Hartley when he was in the episodes, but just imagining him uh, re replacing Caitlin or whatever. I, I prefer Caitlin. All right, listen to this one. Joe is killed by the mist in the pilot episode. What? Changed because Jesse L. Martin was just uh, too awesome to waste. Well, hell, a uh, yeah. Jesus, Louisus, a Papa Jesus. Man, that would have been... No, you know, I think we all know my opinion on that one. Dr. Light would be featured as a metahuman former star lab scientist seeking revenge against Wells. Uh, Hartley likely took over his role. Um, I'm indifferent with that one. I feel like that would have been... Kind of just as cool with what they did with her in season three with Savitar. Was, I think that was it. But yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, Barry and Caitlin would hook up. Oh, <laughs> Snowberry fans are going to love this one. Changed after Grant Gustin suggested they sped up the Barry and Iris relationship. Oh God, are people going to attack Grant Gustin? I'm not, I'm only joking. I'm only, I'm only joking. Okay, so now for season two, Zoom. This is interesting. Uh, it appears that they didn't necessarily abandon this idea and you'll see what I mean. Zoom is Earth to Barry Allen. What? Uh, changed because the writers fell in love with the Jay Garrick Hunter Zolomon twist. They still used most of Earth 2 Barry's original characterization uh, for Hunter. Uh, so yeah, um, that would have been interesting, I suppose. But yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed the twist, uh, you know, that they did with Zoom and Jay Garrick in this season. Um, I, I'm not going to deny that in season two, I, I think I would have been a fan um, of it being Barry. Um, you know, I know some people didn't like Savitar, but I, I kind of do like that in the, in some ways, you know, I'm not ignoring the problems, but yeah, I, I'm glad they didn't make it Barry ultimately. Uh, Jay is not Zoom. So, you know, the Jay version, I guess, of Hunter we had, um, before, you know, John Wesley's ship came in, but a roguish, spe roguish speedster from Earth 2 who joins forces, uh, with Barry to stop Zoom. They clash at first, but slowly become friends and Jay grows into a true hero. He would still hook up with Caitlyn, change due to J uh, the Jay and Hunter twist. Oops. Um, now, that actually doesn't sound too bad, but yeah, at the at the end of the day, it, it was sacrificed for the Jay and Hunter twist, which was cool. So as I said, that doesn't sound so bad, but ultimately, you know, they obviously found a storyline that sounded a lot better to them. Uh, Patty was supposed to... This is going to be interesting. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I know a lot of you guys enjoyed Patty in season two. Uh, Patty was supposed to stick around, learn Barry's secret identity, join Team Flash. Uh, she would have likely been promoted to the main cast in season three. Now that would have been pretty interesting to imagine Patty in season three. The only thing I'm thinking of, it would have been kind of awkward. Would it be awkward? I don't know. Let me know this because obviously Barry and Iris end up getting together. I assume this storyline would have still gone on. But if Patty would have stayed and joined Star Labs and even become a main member of season three, it's just all right, with Iris wandering around and Patty being there, they've both been with Barry. I, I don't know. Iris would actually date her editor, Scott Evans, for a while since Barry and Patty were not to, uh, supposed to break up so soon. So fair enough. They were going to drag out that uh, Barry and Patty thing a little bit longer. But yeah, whatever. Meh. Ronnie was supposed to stick around but had to be killed off and be replaced by Jax when Robbie and Mel couldn't commit to Legends of Tomorrow. That's interesting. So imagine Legends of Tomorrow with Ronnie uh, if he wanted to go ahead and do that, um, which is pretty interesting. Legends of Tomorrow was originally envisioned as a mid-season show and Snar and Rory were at one point supposed to come back to the Flash to keep assembling the rogues. That's kind of interesting, but if you're wondering why I'm not really commenting much on ones like this, it's just there's, there's really not too much to say. Mirror Master and Doctor Alchemy would be introduced as a part of the rogue storyline. Okay, the real Jay Garrick um, was originally planned to be Earth 3. Now this one's interesting. The real Jay Garrick was originally planned to be Earth 3's Eddie Thorne rather than Earth 3's Henry Allen. So you know, if these are real, that is super interesting. That you know, ideas. You know, I guess they would have been in talks and everything like that. Uh, for Eddie Thorne to actually return back, you know, for the longest time, maybe it's a bit too late now. I think most people were thinking for Eddie to come back, whether it's a Cobalt Blue or whatever you wanted. Um, you know, maybe at one point in time, he was actually planning to come back as the, the real Jay Garrick, which would have been pretty cool. I could imagine Eddie, you know, when, you know, in that new suit when uh, John Wesley ship comes in. But I think it is more, you know, fitting as like a legacy kind of thing. Um, for the old original Barry Allen actor to come in. Um, so yeah, I'm glad they did that originally um, and st st stuck with that. Accelerating on to season three, everyone. Uh, the writers, okay, this one's quite short and this I feel like points out how the Flash in my opinion, has kind of slowly declined a little bit and I'll get to that in a minute maybe. Uh, the writers admitted 
They did not fully plan the season, <laughs> resulting in many forgotten plots uh, like the Star Labs Museum, Savitar's plans for Jesse, the appearance of Accelerated Man, etc. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people, you know, say what you will about that, because that's true. Season 3 was full, of, was full of so many blatant plot holes. And I will address this maybe in another video, because people are like, oh, you know, you're picking out too many holes in the show. And let me just clarify this for a second. I do believe you you could go on a sh you do you should go on a ride with a show. You, there are plot holes, but you can kind of ignore them. Blah 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 blah. You know, go on a ride with it. Just the suspension of disbelief. Forgive it sometimes. I'm all about that. I don't. I'm not always digging into it. But season five is 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 when it gets so blatant. It almost feels like what they, they're saying here with season three, the writers admit they did not fully plan the season. I feel like I'm going to be reading this about season five. Random little rant there, but I just feel like I had to say that. Um, so yeah, I, it's just interesting. Uh, Mira Master and the top were supposed to replace Snart and Rory as uh, leaders of the rogues, but fans didn't really respond to them. Uh, fair enough, I guess. I, f I feel like that. I believe that. And the uh, Grey Damon was uh, cast in in a movie shortly afterwards and has to be written out axing the new rogues storyline and i guess that's why they're kind of doing the new rogues now but i'm still not a massive fan of weather witch and blah 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 the rival at some point was considered for a recurring role as wally west's own speedster rival while savitar would be barry's um I, I know some people really didn't like rival but i thought it was kind of interesting i i would have liked to have found out a bit more about him in the cw's verse version of things but you know each to their own. Let me know what you think about that. That's interesting because Wally, um, you know, was quite prominent back then. Julian was supposed to struggle against Savitar's influence and the return of Dr. Alchemy throughout the season, but never really did after Team Flash freed him in the mid-season finale. Okay, fair enough. Maybe they just didn't want to have enough, uh, they didn't have enough scenes or time in the episode to like include that whole storyline. I mean, that would have been through multiple episodes, obviously, and they obviously couldn't make that work. Like, this is what makes me believe that this it generally does make sense. That's a believable concept, etc, etc. Season 4, believe it or not, my least favourite season, even over season 3. Julian was uh, going to be promoted to main cast in season, season 4 before Tom Felton ultimately decided not to return. Very interesting. I didn't know that one. As much as I knew, I thought he wanted to return, but it actually wasn't down to him. Um, but anyway, moving onwards, Ralph and Caitlin would get together, but Daniel Panabaker objected since Caitlin had already been involved with Jay hunter and julian okay i understand that even if i was daniel i probably would have seen said the same thing um so yeah i get that i completely understand that um and i feel like that actually makes sense because i feel like ralph uh and the way they've written them they are quite i can imagine them together the way they've you know ralph has been there for her and stuff like that uh gypsy would recur uh, throughout the season and stay with cisco but had to be written out where jessica uh kamako i don't know how to say the name was cast in another show fair enough you know maybe just you know she wasn't on it enough initially got another gig moved on you know jesse had to be written out due to violet bean's uh other commitments and wally was moved to legends of tomorrow shortly afterwards okay uh big sir was supposed to return later in the season and figure out devoe's plan somehow but never did tracy brand was also supposed to return but never did i believe that was actually meant to be a thing i remember that uh Arminette was envisioned as a secondary antagonist wow uh, with her own team of meta human henchmen but was slowly changed into more of an anti-hero uh with only one notable henchman, Norvok, aka Snake Eye. Um, I think they did that for the best. A lot of people really didn't like Aminette Black. I didn't mind her as much as other people, but that was a good decision. Uh, there were rumors about two parties setting their free, exploring Jay's backstory and introducing his mysterious female protege. Uh, but that didn't come through. And yeah, that would have been pretty interesting because if you remember in season four, he was like, oh yeah, I gotta train this person back on Earth, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, yeah, that, that would have been cool. But yeah, again, good things get cut for time i guess sorry if it sounds like i'm rushing through this i just really wanted to include everything uh, whilst i still could but kind of keep the video down season five uh, there were rumors that sue dibney would be introduced as a digital influencer who teams up with iris for a new project uh, so this sounds familiar to what we've already had this season uh, considering there's been a digital influencer spencer young if you remember spin uh, and iris is embarking on a new project the central city citizen uh, there was probably some truth to that so yeah it looks like they kind of rewrote that storyline and just decided not to go with Sue Dibney or maybe just not go with Sue Dibney this way she could still be introduced maybe very late this season for all I know uh or they might have just banked it 
till next season. Wait, and lastly, a deleted scene alluded to Weather Wizard reforming the Rogues and Ragdoll as his first recruit. Yep, yeah, if you guys remember, that wasn't included in the episode. No idea why, but they uploaded it on the CW channel. Um, so that it, this does sound like it definitely was going to be, uh, which seems to have been dropped in favor of the young Rogues formed by Weather Witch, Silver Ghost, and Spin. <clears throat> like, literally, I, do, I don't know about you guys, but do you... I don't really care that much about these new rogues. I would have actually been definitely way more down for Weather Witch. Even Ragdoll, to be honest. Like, not... He was cool. He was really freaky. But I, I like the characters we've already known throughout the years. I don't don't really care about Weather Witch. I just don't. So let me know, guys, what you thought of everything I read out in this video. I know this was a bit of a different video, but it was cool to bring up anyway. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're an Arrow fan as well and you want to see those changes. I feel like the Arrow ones were significantly different, um, at least to me. I When I skimmed over those a couple of days ago, I thought, wow, like it definitely blew my mind a couple more times the direction that could have gone compared to what we've just read out on the flash so let me know if you want to see that video maybe in the next couple of days maybe even tomorrow i don't even know um but like this video guys if you did enjoy it it really does help the video helps the channel out uh so much uh subscribe if you're brand new for more flash videos and content just like this check out my links in the description and my merch down below guys and other than that speedsters thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely rest of your day see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>